Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raul from Raul's Aquatics and Reptiles. And in this week's video, we're gonna do an unboxing for some products that I received from Hiker. Uh, as you guys already know, Hiker is a well-established company in the aquarium hobby, and they provide a lot of products like aquarium heaters, aquarium lights. They got a gravel vac. They got magnets to clean your uh, fish tank glass. I'm gonna leave a link down below to my Amazon store where I have a lot of uh, Hiker products. So I'm gonna do an unboxing on a particular item, and that item is also gonna be in my Amazon store. So like I said, I'll leave a link down below. So let's go inside and check it out. Now before we go inside, let me start out by saying if you're new to the channel. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the content and I hope you stay to the end. Now, if you like the content that I provide today, think about subscribing. Also, think about hitting the notification bell so that way every time I put out a new video, you get notified. And subscribing to the channel is totally free. So, let's go inside. All right, guys, so we're inside. Before we get to the unboxing, I want to start out by saying thank you to Higer for allowing me to have this opportunity to do the unboxing for their products for them. Also, a couple of weeks ago, I actually did an unboxing video for Higer. It was actually for the 500-watt heater that I have inside of my 75-gallon uh, tank. Now, if you missed that video and you're interested in seeing it, I'm going to leave a link up above. Go check that out. It was a pretty good video. As I said before, all the products that I do unboxing videos for Higer, it's going to be in my Amazon link. I'm going to leave the link down below so you guys can check it out. All right, so for the first item, I've got the Hager Aquarium Magnet Cleaner Brush. Like I told you guys, Hager uh, has a lot of products, man. So they sent me this uh, magnet. Hey, listen, I am not even going to lie. This thing is so tough and so strong that I had to cut the video off and start the video all over again because the white piece that separates the magnet from the other half, I took the white piece out and it stuck together. This thing was so tough that I couldn't pull it off. So I had to stop the camera, go in the kitchen and get a knife and separate it. So I got the white piece in there. Check it out. It's got the handle, very sturdy. It's got the name on there, Higer. And this is the other half right here. The piece that uh, actually goes inside of the tank. And here, on this little piece here is where you put the scraper to scrape off the algae off the glass. Here's the bag here, let's take it out. So it comes with two different type of scrapers. It has a plastic one with a plastic edge on it. You guys can see that there. And then this one comes with a razor on the end there. So I'm going to be using the one with the razor on there. So let's go ahead and put that on there. Okay. So I finally figured out how it goes. And through the top. Right underneath here. It snaps right into place. There we go. It's on there. And so I guess when you got it inside the uh, tank, scrape the glass with the algae. So let's give it a shot. This is the portion that goes inside the aquarium. Done. Closer so you guys can see. Uh, you guys look, I got a magnet already back here. I actually got two magnets, I'm gonna show you guys. I got this one that I bought off of Amazon years ago when I first got into the hobby. I also got the Nano Flipper Float, but this is too small for this tank. It, it gets the job done. It has a scraper just like the Hager one does. This one doesn't have a scraper. So I'm gonna take this one out. I don't need this one no more. Let's 
check out this other one. This one, this little small one, I'll use for the uh, 15 gallon flu ball flex because it's so small. Check out this high girl. Strong, man. Look at this. This thing got good grip. Not bad, not bad at all. I don't have any algae on my tank, but um, let's see. Hold on. I got a little bit on this side over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Looks like a charm. Oh yeah. And if it gets lost, bam, right back on. Beautiful. Got the Hyger emblem on it. This is pretty dope. I like this, man. Now, you're going to ask me why did I have it in the back. The reason why I have it in the back is because, if you guys know my previous videos, my grandson is no joke. He gets to everything, so I got to hide it in the back. So, that's where it's going to go. So, that's the first item, guys. Like I said, there will be a link down below in the description taking you straight to my amazon storefront you guys like this product you guys can order it off my amazon site it is the hg068 Hyga magnet keep this box so i can keep these extra stuff on there i have a question for you guys <laughs> are you the type of person that keeps the original boxes to mostly all the uh, items that you have not only just the aquarium uh, products like cameras you know uh, sneakers um, whatever items that you have that comes in the box I keep the original boxes to everything uh, my wife thinks I'm crazy but I don't know I got I, I got OCD it's just a bad habit I'll keep this now let me tell you why it's a good thing so the other day my uh nero 5 wave maker from our salt water tank the wire broke and it wasn't working so i had to run out and purchase a nero 3 because they didn't have the five i called uh ai and ai told me ship the uh, nero back because it was covered under warranty guess where it's going in the original box i'm glad i kept the original box because it was asking me for serial numbers and on the box, the serial numbers are listed. So guys, keep your stuff. You never know. Second item on hand is the Hyger Electric Vacuum Cleaner. Uh, HG955 slash HG955AC. Let's get it open and take a look at what's inside. Good packaging. All right. Let's keep the um, the instructions. So see what we got. A lot of goodies here. A lot of goodies. Oh man! Like a little plastic cylinder. Another cylinder. I guess this is the actual uh, portion that goes on the uh, substrate. Scoop it up. Maybe this connects to this. I don't know. We're gonna find out shortly. Put this back here and take this other piece off here. Uh oh, what is this? Okay. Let's take a look at what this is here. Uh, probably the actual motor. The pump itself, this is actually like the pump itself. We're gonna put everything together, guys. Just give me a second. Comes with a little tube. The on and off switch, the power. And a bag full of more goods. All right, stand by while I lay out everything and we kind of put this together, okay?
All right, so I got it put together. It took me a little bit to figure it out. Apparently what I learned from uh, reading the manual also is that this also can be used to uh, change water. You would just have to put a different uh, piece on here and I'm gonna show you what we got here. So these items here apparently, so this is here, this, this bottom piece here is uh, sand, for sand, to pick up uh, debris and everything we're using this piece. Um, then you also have a, a, a vacuum, a debris vacuum that you would take this piece off here, it comes right off, and then you would stick this piece in place of the sand vacuum. Then you also have a sand washing head. And you look, it's got some little grooves there at the end. So I imagine that this will go on the end here, right? Then we also got, uh, let me see, we got the intake strainer. An intake strainer. It's like a vacuum, like your regular vacuum with a brush on it. Got a bunch of other pieces here. I got some extra pieces, some extra washers, some rubber washers, because they go in between. You'll see a rubber wash on here and a rubber wash on this when you tighten it up real tight, like a seal, so the water doesn't leak. Just extra pieces. Got some hooks on here. I would imagine that the hooks are for the wire, because this has the uh, wire here, and I guess the wire can run back across here, and you can hook it up using these little hooks here. I attached the clips, one here, one here, one here. Here is the electrical plug that connects to the actual pump itself. Grandson in the background has these little two pieces there, they just connect to each other. And then you have this screw where you screw up on here and screw it tight. on and off switch so let's get it let's get it popping I like it also because it's got that sponge right there and the sponge up here. So I guess when it picks up the detritus, it gets caught in the sponge here. It's pretty dope. Now I'm wondering whether or not this piece here, this little piece right there needs to be above water. You see the water just coming out of it. I wonder if I need to add another um, extension on there. I mean, it's still sucking it up, so. One thing I ain't gotta get my hands wet. All right, so I went to go put it in there to go use it and I realized that I was missing an extension piece to have it longer because apparently, I'm gonna show you because that's why you need to read the book and actually do some research. This piece, see the water goes through here. It has a little um, a sponge. So it goes through when you have it in the sand. So the water travels through there up through here and it comes through and you got more sponges attached here so that way it filters out the gunk and the detritus so it doesn't get back in the tank and then it comes out through here what i realized was when i first tried to do i had it inside the water it actually needs to be outside of the water i'm going to show you guys here in a second i'm going to add the extension piece on there and then i'll show you all right so let's see we got to go now oh yeah I like it because of those sponges. Oh yeah. I just 
just want to test to see how this one works. Let's get back in. It was really dirty. What I am noticing it is that it's getting clogged up. I'm going to check it out and see why. I think what happened is I'm digging too deep in the sand and it's getting clogged up. But for the most part, I like it. And I'm going to show you guys how to use it when you do a water change. All right, so we got the tubing. So remember what I told you guys, you got to take this top piece off. Put this piece on here. So now let's put on the uh, missing attachment which is this right here this is what we use for the water chain for the water change so see how good this works it says you just lay it in there got a five gallon jug here <laughs> it works. It works. Look at that. What a change. <laughs> now that I like. Okay, impressive. So to do the water change, this middle piece you have to take out. Overall, what I think of the gravel vac. Well, it initially gave me a lot of problems. Uh, it was getting clogged up with the sand. Could be because I'm using it incorrectly. Out of a 10, I'll give it a five or a six. To make it a little better, I think they should have put a handle to control the power. As far as the sucking in and everything, I think that you can cut, cut the item on while the pump is running but you want to squeeze the uh, like a handle to get the suction going up. I've seen a couple of those on Amazon. I actually believe Hyger has a different one. I am going to leave a link for it in my Amazon uh, storefront. Now, as far as the uh, magnet, the magnet is excellent. Tough, sticks real hard to the glass. It doesn't come right off like some of the other ones, but yeah. The gravel vac, a lot of work, um, a lot of unscrewing different parts to it. Uh, does a, it has a lot of accessories to it to do different things. Maybe it'll work better if you have gravel in your tank. I have sand. I didn't like the way it clogged up the uh, sponges so fast and the motor on the pump got uh, clogged up and I had to clean it out and take the propeller out, put the propeller back in, restart it and it will run again. Uh, as far as sucking the water out, um, like to do a water change, it works excellent. Uh, the tubing is uh, relatively small. I'm sure you can find a longer tube, run it all the way to maybe your um, to your sink, or run it to your uh, tub or your toilet or whatever, however you do it. I just used the five gallon jug uh, just to show you guys. That worked well. I want to say thank you to Hyger. If you stayed to the end, thank you very much. Make sure you ding that notification bell. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Doesn't cost you anything. Like I said, it's free. I'm going to go ahead and finish doing a water change and, uh, and get through it. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one, God bless.